As we mentioned at the top of the hour, Vice President Joe Biden will kick off a second day of meetings with the goal of building consensus on gun control. And just before noontime, he's going to be meeting with the representatives from the sporting industry. Then later this afternoon, he's going to sit down with members of the NRA, the National Rifle Association. And then this evening, he's going to meet with representatives of the movie and video game industries. Joining me now is Leela McDowell, Managing Director for Communications for the Advancement Project. Leela, it's great to have you here. And let's start with the Vice President's meeting today with the NRA. Sir, Certainly this is big when it comes to these two entities coming together. The big push uh, from the NRA, as we remember from Wayne LaPierre's uh, big press conference, was to arm teachers and the only, uh, the only thing that can stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Uh, when we talk about the armed guards in schools proposal, former President Bill Clinton spoke about that in a statement yesterday saying, quote, there are going to need uh, to be some armed guards in some schools where there is a higher crime rate and kids themselves may take weapons to school. Absolutely. But it is not an excuse not to deal with this issue. Now, your group, Leela, is one of the several that have expressed concerns about increased security at schools in more urban communities. So explain to all of us those concerns. So first of all, we have more police in schools than we've had for 20 years. So this is not a new idea. And the police are trained for the streets, not for classrooms. And what the result that we're seeing in these schools is high rates of arrests of young people for very minor infractions, like talking back to a teacher, infractions that should be handled by talking to a counselor or, or a teacher or a principal. Um, so for example, in Georgia, a six-year-old arrested, handcuffed, taken to the police station for having a temper tantrum in her kindergarten class. In Mississippi, we have a young high school student who was arrested, spent about two weeks in jail for wearing the wrong color socks. The police are enforcing the zero tolerance policies of these schools, so what it is resulting in is all across the country, students being arrested for these minor infractions. And unfortunately, African Americans are getting hit by what we call extreme discipline policies at about three and a half times than whites for often the very same offense. And the result is higher dropout rates and more young people in the criminal justice system, which ultimately does not make us safe. One last thing, the data shows that police in schools does not make us safer. I mean, many schools have 20 to 40 doors. You would need a military squad to guard every single door. Um, and so it's not resulting in increased safety, but it is, in fact, resulting in more kids not in college, not in a career, and more kids in the criminal justice system. Lila, as the but vice we, president, as he continues this listening tour, so to speak. What are your, your biggest hopes uh, for the proposals? Again, there's this kind of forced deadline to have something together tangible by the end of the month that the president can then use in his State of the Union address. So what are your proposal hopes? Well, we hope to see some common sense gun control. It's imperative that we have that. We have more gun stores in America than McDonald's or supermarkets. There's something clearly wrong with that. And we also want to see common sense school discipline. So we are urging the task force not to invest in more police in schools, but to invest in mental health professionals and counselors that truly can forestall troubled kids, hopefully before they come violent, and can help create the kind of positive environments in schools that create the safe quality schools that we all need. Leela McDowell, The Advancement Project. Leela, great to have you on this morning. Thank you. Thank you.